Thank you so much. Well, many of you are making health goals in the new year, and our next guest knows all about that. After losing 100 pounds and keeping it off for almost a decade, she's here to tell us how she did it and how you can likewise stay in shape. Brittany Olson, welcome to the thank show, you. and thank you so much for joining us in studio today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so glad you're here. We're going to get moving um, <laughs> in just a second, but first, maybe just walk us through, again, a little bit of your journey. I know we've yes. got some pictures to kind of help visualize everything, okay. um, but yeah, walk us through what you experienced, and at what point did you realize you, you were going to make a change? So, uh, you know, like many women, through high school and college gained a little weight when I became a little less you know moving a lot less and then had a one-year-old and then a set of twins back to back wow, you're super and, oh gosh um, and I realized very quickly that I had to keep up with the life that I had built and so I was like you know what I'm just gonna start walking like I, I literally could not run for a minute straight I tried and I failed mm -hmm. and instead of getting defeated I just decided I'm gonna get determined I'm gonna figure this out and um, just my niche is probably like I'm very southern. I grew up eating southern. <laughs> Girl, and I, you was, both. I, love I it. was like, how can we do this where I'm not miserable? I don't want to eat plain chicken and rice all the time. Yeah. Like, so I take like my favorite meals, make it a little healthier, and then I found fun ways for me to move that I enjoy doing, and it just spiraled right. out of out of that. I love that. And here you say you love Southern food. Like all my favorite foods, fried chicken. So yes, I love to hear same. that. And again, fast forward to now, you started Balanced Boot Camp. Yes. Tell me how you're now helping other women. So, you know, my friends were in the same boat as me and people I was going to church with and living life with. And so we just started working out together. And I realized as a new mom that I really enjoyed that community outside of the home where I was with my children all the time. Yeah. And it just kind of blossomed from there. I became a certified group fitness instructor. I teach in Athens at the rec center and then during COVID when everything shut down my members asked for an online option so I started an online community that I thought well when everything goes back to normal this will end and we'll just go back to what we've always done and now the online fitness community has hundreds of people all over the world that does it we do workouts online together so they have this community there um, that they've all become buddies and friends inside of that um, I teach in Elkmont in my community that I live in I personal train there I do PE for kids at Athens Rec Center that are homeschooled or do virtual learning since COVID. So um, it just kind of, it just happened organically. Like I didn't set out to do it. It just yeah. kind of happened over time. And I think it's been super fun because of that. Yeah, you built such a wonderful community in light of that. I'm going to get to experience a little taste of it. It's funny that only I should set this down. You mentioned um, <laughs> you, said you, as your don't, weight. you don't run or, or anything like that. I don't either. No. <laughs> like uh, I'm gasping for air. It's just we're, like not really my thing. So we're going to, we're going to do some. Yeah, we're going to stretch it out, moves, stretch, stretch it out. It out. Right, right, baby arm circles. All so right, we're going to start with a, just a basic squat because I feel like that's what everyone thinks about when they think about working out. And what we focus on a lot in our community is doing it correctly because as women we're super busy and if we're yeah. spending the time to do that I want you to get the biggest bang for your buck and I think a lot of times ladies can work out and they're not seeing the results that they want but it's because their form isn't right or they're not being intentional with their movements so we talk about all that we slow things down a little bit so that you get okay. the biggest bang for your buck all so right. for for squats specifically we want to put our weight in our heels a lot of people rock onto their toes and that's why their knees hurt. So we want to put our weight in our heels and push our booty back and down. A lot of times people want to push their knees out and over. So yeah. if you, a good rule of thumb is if you glance down, you want to be able to see your toes. That means your oh, booty is going back and down. I feel like down. initially I would not yeah, have seen that. Right, and you're working the muscles a squat is supposed okay, to so help. That way. Yes. All right, so we yes. got our good squat yeah. form. So then, so then you can take it up a notch, by, and this is what we show in our communities. If you want to make it harder and you're in a different place fitness wise, or if you need to modify, so modified, we would just not go as deep. Think about sitting yeah. back onto like a bench or something. If you want to take it up a notch, you could add a hop. Maybe oh, not. Maybe not. Those, heels not on. them shoes, know, girl. Not them shoes. That. So, anyways, but yeah, yes. you always have the hop. A yes. great move, yeah. my girl. Thank you, thank so, you so much, much for walking us through that. Yes. Recap for us, if you will. Again, balance balance boot, boot camp. Where can we find you and learn more? You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Athens, Elmont, online, all the things. We would love to have you. I love it. And hey, thank you too, just for for sharing your journey. Thank I'm sure you. so many people can relate and are inspired by you. I so appreciate it. Thanks for taking that and helping others. Thank now. We love you. Girl. Thank you so much.